Sega Got Drunk. Just because a certain title is released on both the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis doesn't always mean they're the same game. The most famous example of this is probably Aladdin, a great game on both systems, but there's also stuff like Robocop vs. Terminator, Shadowrun, Jurassic Park, and also The Adventures of Batman and Robin. The Super Nintendo version is an action platformer that perfectly captures the look and feel of the Batman animated series, while the Genesis version here is like a side-scrolling version of Pocky and Rocky. No, not in terms of visuals, obviously, but in terms of gameplay. This game is pure chaos and has the feel of a shoot-em-up more than anything else. Sometimes it's almost like I'm playing Thunder Force 4 starring Batman and Robin. In fact, there are shoot-em-up levels here and there, how about that? This game is predicated on momentum, the same way a shoot-em-up is, because the further you progress without taking a hit, the more powerful your weapon can become, so yeah. This is one of those games that has a pretty steep difficulty curve. If you have trouble getting going and keep taking damage, you're gonna hate this game. If you're quick to dodge and accurate with your attacks, you're gonna love this one, because the carnage here is comparable to something like Gunstar Heroes. You're tossing batarangs, shurikens, and fireballs as long-range attacks, again similar to Pocky and Rocky just from a 2D perspective, and there's a meter here that charges up if you take a second between throwing something. When it's full and flashing, it'll deliver a stronger attack. I love how the Batman and Robin sprites are depicted here, like they've got a huge pile of these things in their arm and they're throwing them out one at a time. I mean, dang, put Batman on a pitch count, he's gonna ruin his arm like Mark Pryor. You can deliver jump kicks, punches, and tosses from close range, again similar to Gunstar Heroes, and it works awesome. The game is always very smooth and responsive when the action calls for a close range attack instead of a projectile, which is tricky to pull off since they're both the same button, so you're at the mercy of the game here, but it's implemented really well. So yeah, Adventures of Batman and Robin looks great, it's easily one of the best looking Genesis games out there, I mean look at this 3D effect here, that's badass. And the music is fine, yes I did a video about a year ago where I said I didn't like the music, a completely subjective opinion, but whatever, I still hear about it today. So I'll just say the music is fine. And the gameplay is self-explanatory. You can play as either Batman and Robin, or both at the same time with the second player, and of course that's always a nice feature. The only real problem with this game is holy crap, it is ridiculously laughably comically difficult. I wouldn't quite call it a pick up and die game as opposed to pick up and play because there's not really a whole lot of trial and error here, it's just the sheer amount of stuff coming at you from every angle at every opportunity. Even with a second player, this game is just absolutely brutal. And not only that, but you get six continues, and if you have a second player, you have to share them. Six continues between two people is not nearly enough for a game like this. I mean, if a game wants to be difficult, that's fine, but at least give the player a fair shot at seeing more than just the first couple levels. So yeah, the Genesis version of Adventures of Batman and Robin isn't really comparable to the Super Nintendo version, it's a totally different game. So is it worth playing today? Yeah, it definitely is, but just take a good look here at what you're getting yourself into and plan accordingly. The difficulty here is insane, and as a result the game can really be kind of a slog, and the levels seemingly go on forever. But it combines some fantastic visual design with the kind of run and gun chaos that the Genesis did best. It's not quite as good as some of the treasure made games like Gunstar Heroes or Alien Soldier, but Adventures of Batman and Robin is still a quality title. 